The United Nations Security Council unanimously adopted a resolution establishing a monitoring system for Iran's nuclear program and considering the eventual removal of all relevant sanctions against the country. By doing so, the Council endorsed an historic agreement concluded two weeks ago between the so-called E3 plus 3, China, France, Germany, Russia, the United Kingdom and the United States, and Iran. The Secretary General welcomed the adoption of Resolution 2231. The resolution provides for the eventual removal of all nuclear-related sanctions against Iran. It guarantees that the International Atomic Energy Agency will continue to verify Iran's compliance with its nuclear-related commitments under the Joint Comprehensive Plan. Under that agreement, Iran reaffirmed that it will, under no circumstances, ever seek, develop or acquire any nuclear weapons. The United Nations World Food Programme announced that for the first time since conflict erupted in Yemen four months ago, a food supply ship berthed this week in the port of Aden. As humanitarian needs mount and intense fighting continue, the MVNZ arrived on Tuesday with 3,000 metric tons of food on board, enough to feed 180,000 people for one month. Although we reached Aden before by road, but reaching it by sea is definitely a breakthrough, not only for the World Food Programme, but for all the humanitarian actors. We aim to get more vessels into Aden and into the rest of the Yemeni ports so we can reach Yemeni women, children and men in need wherever they are all over the country. Although the sheep had arrived off Aden on June 26, it had been forced to wait over three weeks for a safe window to birth. More WFP chartered ships are on standby near Aden, carrying fuel and more food.